Now, you aren't given the formula for the volume of a frustrum. However, on your formula sheet in the exam, you are given a formula for the volume of a cone. If, however, you are asked to calculate the volume of a frustrum, which is square base, we can use this knowledge together with the fact that this formula comes from one third area of the base times the height. So the area of the base of my cone is pi r squared. So that's the area of a circle. Looking at the base of a square base pyramid, that would just be length times width. Now you know how to backwards engineer the formula that is given to you to calculate the missing details. Let's have a look at an exam question. Here they say that a frustrum is made by removing a small cone from a large cone. The height of the small cone is 20 centimeters. The height of the large cone is 40 centimeters. The diameter of the base is 30 centimeters, and they're asking us to work out the volume of the frustrum, and we need to give our answer to three significant figures. If we have a look at that first opening line, they give us a very important word. They say that the small cone is similar to my large cone. So that means that we can use properties of similar shapes to work out any details that might be missing. So we know from our formula that we need the radius of the small and the large cones. We're given the height of both, but not the radius of both. So the height of my large cone is 40, and the height of the small cone is 20. So we need to divide the large cone by 2 to get the height of the small cone. If we look at the radius of the large, it's 15 centimeters, performing exactly the same calculation. Because the two shapes are similar, we can divide the radius of the large cone by 2 and find the missing radius of the small cone. From this point on, we're going to use the formula to calculate the volume of the large cone and the volume of the small cone. Because if we take the volume of the small cone away from the volume of the big cone, we will just be left with the frustrum's volume. So plugging in the missing variables, our radius is 15, our height is 40. Calculating that out, we get 3000 times pi. I'm going to leave it in this format to keep our accuracy high. Volume of the small cone, we're going to perform exactly the same steps. And now to find the volume of our frustrum, we will take the large cone and remove the small cone's volume. Finally, multiplying 2625 by pi, we get 8246.68 centimeters cubed. But remember the original question asked us to give it to three significant figures. So we've got 8, 2, 4. So the 4 is our third most significant figure, which we need to look to the number to the right and round off. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.